Hello and welcome to the first part of my tutorial series on making an F4 menu for Dark RP on Gary's Mod. So today I'm going to just get the basics sorted out uh, and we're going to just get the F4 menu set up so when the player actually presses F4 a little derma frame will pop up and then in the next part I'll show you how to kind of edit that a little bit and add some pages hopefully. Right so let's get right into it, I want to make this uh, you know quick and informational. So first of all what you want to do is just go to your Gary's mod add-ons folder if this is on your server then it'll just be add-ons anyway. They want to create a folder called uh, any anything just all lowercase uh, I'm gonna call mine uh, custom underscore f4 menu then once you've done that press enter enter that and then create another new file and call it lua then to that file and call it auto run then once you and then enter that file and then what I want you to do in there is create a text document and call it uh, just anything you want another custom name uh, f4 and then make sure you change .txt to lua right and then once and then you just want to open that up right so now what you want to do is we're actually going to fill up the code file that's all the file structures done uh, the, right now we just want to actually uh, fill the this lower file with code right uh, so basically this is your add-on folder you've got the lower file there which contains all lua and then auto run is anything that is automatically ran right then if we go into this uh, custom f4 dot lua file we want to start off with uh, sorting out uh, the server side stuff so that means we're going to do it it's, it's if statement which is if server then this will basically only be run on the server and then to actually make it so the user receives uh, their full menu we're going to just send them we're going to we're going to this is where we're going to just kind of uh, state a network string so you do util dot add net work string and then brackets quotation marks and then what we want to do here is to do F4 and then just, this is kind of just needs to be a unique name that you need to repeat throughout and then we need to do, make a custom function called this can be whatever name you want and call mine F4 menu func and then you obviously put brackets like order normal func but inside these brackets we need to put apply because we're going to be referencing to the player and then you can end off the function and then inside this function we want to make so it sends the information to the player so we do net dot start uh, f for menu and here is where we reference to what the network string that we created so this is basically starting that network string and and then yeah right this is now how this is what who we are sending it to so we're sending it to the ply which is this person in the function and this function is ran by by whoever press presses uh, the key F4. Right now, this this hook is just uh, a hook for the function which is made in the game mode, which is for uh, like when the play act player <laughs> presses F4. Right, so this function is called show spare two. This just needs to be a unique name here. Menu hook. That's going to be my unique name. And then now this is here you want to reference the unique function name you made here, which is that. So I'm going to just copy that and then put it here. And then you want to just nice close that up with a nice bracket. Right. So basically, this is uh, starting that net message and it's sending it to the player. This this won't actually currently do anything with the player. That it will only do stuff when the user receives it. So net messages are basically so the server can say send stuff to the client and so on. Right now we want to do the client side because that's all the server side done. That's all you need to do. Then we, so we do if client then end it off obviously, and then we want to do right. This is where we're going to make it so the client actually does something as it will actually receive the actual uh, net message. Right. So this is what it does when the player presses uh, F the F form. And so so so. To easily change this, what you could do is this is basically just run when that function is run, and this function is run when the player presses F4. You can make so the function is run when the player presses F. You can make so the player receives the menu when they press F1, which no F3, which I believe is show spare one, 
uh, and you could also make so when they spawn they receive the menu which is uh, player initial spawn so you can maybe make like a little spawn menu so basically that that's that anyway if client would do net dot receive I don't know if I spelled that right I've, spe I've not spelled that right Eve and then uh, just the, the whatever the network strings called which in my case is f4 menu so you put that there and then you want to make a function because uh, this is what happens and then you want to end it off like that and then we just uh, put that down a bit so we have some space we want to make it look on fancy right so this is where we actually have chance to create the frame now so basically this is this is uh, saying that when if, if it's the client which if it is a client then when uh, the player is sent the net message f4 menu uh, it will do whatever's inside here so we want to do another if statement for if frame then right so this is if frame so that that's going to be a, a frame and that means does not exist so if is not frame then I mean, obviously end off the always make sure you add an end off so you don't forget and then if frame does not if frame does not exist then we want it to create the frame so do local frame equals vgui dot create and then and then d frame now uh, we are obviously accessing the default derma library and then now we just want to set some uh, parameters of the frame to so set size We'll adjust all this in the, in the next episode. I just want to make it simple for now and actually explain the basics. Frame set size, and then if we want to uh, that that should be that, and then we can do frame center, which will center it in the person's screen. Oh, I'm pressing Control D by the way, which will duplicate it, uh, the current line you're on to the line below as well, like that, like that. But yeah, we don't need that one. And uh, then we want to set it visible to true and then finally we want to make it pop up uh, make pop up means that the frame uh, that the user will still be able to use their kind of they will be able to use their keyboard within the frame so they can't run when they open the frame example which allows it so when they press f4 they, they will automatically close the frame and also we want to set delete on close so it will just decrease its lag because if because if we don't then when they actually close down the menu the frame will just be kind of sitting in the background and causing lag right so that's the frame done so now what we can do is we can save that up there and now what you want to do is you can actually go into game right, hello so now we're back we're back in game uh we're walking around or spawned in no lower errors so far now to test it all we have to do is press your f4 key and you should have a nice little window here just just move your little window around it's quite nice isn't it what we can do is, uh, if you don't like people being able to move the window around, which I don't tend to, load back up your file. And just quickly close that one. Uh, and then what you can do is uh, frame, set, drag, or ball, and then faults. And if we do that, save, uh, reopen it, you just can't drag the frame. And so that that's the frame done. Next episode, I'll show you how to do pages. I will also change the frame a bit. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. So we've got we've got the frame working. As you can see, you can close it. You can not move it around. Just a basic frame. It works when you press F4. That's all the basics out of the way. All the all the nice uh, and very boring. Uh, what you would call this out of the way, like all the files and stuff now. So yeah, we can just get on to the better bits next time. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, make sure you subscribe so you know when I upload another video, and you can uh, you know get coding as quickly as you can. Also, comment or if you need help, you know you can comment, you know saying I need help, or you can comment saying oh my video. That would be very kind. Make, make me feel very happy. Anyway, uh, you can also like the video if you want and share it. Sharing is always nice, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a good day, guys. Uh, make sure to come out, check out the rest of the series to find out how to you know improve the frame. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.